do 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 do. Okay, what's my mic check? Do 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 do. Hello. After doing some study into the quadrivium, I created this diagram of the Earth and the Moon, showing their precise size ratio. <coughs> uh, so the Earth and the Moon relate to each other in that if the Earth was 11 big, then the Moon would be 3 big. <laughs> if that makes sense. 11 fourteenths, 3 fourteenths. Okay. Um, also, strangely, for reasons unbeknownst to me, this diagram also solves the age-old maths problem of squaring the circle, um, which is represented here in red, with the red square and the red circle. Uh, so. I put a post up of this and uh, some people have been asking me to make a video on uh, how to create it. So here is the video and let's just dive right into it. Uh, so I'm going to create a new doodle. Okay, don't save because it might throw away the earth and moon. So to start with, we create a point point A. And off to the right I'm going to create point B. And that will be the radius of the Earth. Now we draw a circle from center point A running through B. Like so. Create our circle. And now we draw a line from B to A and we'll continue that line on until it intersects with the circle and at the point where it intersects with the circle we'll create point C. So now we have a horizontal line going through a circle which will be the Earth. Okay, simple enough. Next thing is we create a circle with center point B running through C. And we'll do the same on the other side from C running through B like so. And at the points where they intersect, those two bigger circles above and below, we'll put two points D and E. And now we're going to connect those points with a line like so. So now we have a horizontal line and a vertical line running through our Earth circle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make that earth circle blue. I'm going to give it just yeah, a bit of blue. A blue fill as well, just so that we're clear as to what that represents. Okay. Well, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a square around the earth. So we'll do this by creating points F and G, where the Earth circle intersects with the vertical line. Easy enough. And then drawing a line parallel to this vertical line, we draw another line that runs through B. And we'll do the same, making a vertical line running through C, like so. Then we create a line horizontal, parallel to the horizontal line. And that can run through our point F. And then we'll make another parallel line running from the horizontal line going through point G. Now we have a square going around the Earth. And that will be known as the Earth square. So now we mark the corners of this new Earth square. H, I, J, and K. Oh, I missed Missed it. Okay. Okay. Now what we need to do is create an eight-pointed star within our new Earth square. So here we go. We go from H to B, to K to F, to J to C, to 
to I to G to H. And there's a lovely little star. Now what we need to do is we need to create, we need to split this square into elevenths. Okay, but we don't actually have to create a segment for each eleventh. We actually only need three elevenths in the center. And the way that we do that is by marking these points L, M, and N on our star that we've created inside the Earth square. And then from N to M, we draw a line. And from N to L, we draw a line. Now, on top of the Earth square, we have points where these new lines intersect with the top of the Earth square, and I'm going to mark those as O and P. And again, I missed O and P. There we go. So now, from H to O is worth 4. So if that were 4 centimeters, for example, then O to P would be 3, and P to I would be 4. And 4 plus 3 plus 4 is 11. Therefore, these center squares, these center segments, are 3 elevenths, which is exactly the ratio we need. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another parallel line uh, from our vertical line. And that's going to run through P, and then another vertical line running through O. And this is to create our square that the moon is going to go inside. And then we create two points here and here where those new vertical lines intersect with these larger circles. And we draw a line across between Q and R. So that gives us a square. So now I create a cross in the square that also intersects with the central vertical line so that I can find the center of this square and I can put a point there and that point is now called S. And we're nearly done. We now make a circle with the center point S running through F. Dink. And there's the moon. And that's it. We now have a diagram of the Earth and the Moon. Um, I'm going to now just put some color into it. Or maybe I'll just darken it a bit like so. So, now the matter of squaring the circle. And this is uh, what I would describe as shockingly simple. All we have to do is create a circle with the midpoint, same as the Earth circle, that runs through the center of the Moon, point S. And there it is. So now our Earth square, which I'll now make red, has the same perimeter and has the same area as that circle right there. Okay, so the year is 2019. I'm not sure how much value <laughs> this information has anymore. <laughs> um, it does have a certain amount of eternal value to it, but I'm pretty sure if you sent this image back in a time machine, this would be the most valuable thing on Earth. So there we have it. Thanks for drawing along with me. And I really recommend doing this because it's one thing to read about it. It's another thing to watch someone do it. And it's also another thing entirely to actually do it yourself. Take a bit of time over it and contemplate it. You'll realize some things, some quite profound things. So geometry, geometry is great. It is the second pillar of the quadrivium. Um, and 
and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time for something. Goodbye.